Okay, I want to show you how to format your posts now and work with your images and, and your text. So the first thing I'm going to do in this same rodent care blog or post is insert a text. So I'm going to go right up here and hover over it says add an image. Now I have an image in mind. I want to caution you to make sure that your images that you that you place in here are fairly small. Anything too large will tend to bog down your um, uh, your your blog pages, and you want your page you want your people to stay on your on your pages and and not want to leave because it takes too long to open. So large images will do that to you. So I've browsed and I've selected my image, and I'm going to click upload. And this shouldn't take too long because it's a reasonably small image um, in terms of uh, DPI. Let me see if I can bring this down though. Okay. So this is a nice size here. This is pretty large. And we'll bring it down to this medium size. I'm going to add a ca caption, pocket pet, and insert it into the post. Now, one of the things I, I did select in there, I didn't mention, and I'm going to click on this image, scroll down here, and I'll show you, and click Edit is I asked it to be left justified and that's so that the image would be nestled in here and the text would wrap around it. You can do that in the center or on the right. Okay. I also want to bring this down a little bit more because I'd like the image to be even smaller. Okay, update. And then we have our image and it's nestled in there. Okay. And one more thing I want to do to this is add a more tag. And I'm going to delete this more tag so I can show you how to do it. So right after this image, what I'd like to do is so that this entire article doesn't doesn't fit up fit on that home page and take up so much space. I want it to have its own page. So right here after the image, in this third paragraph, I want to insert a more tag. Okay. And what that does is that clicks. We'll, we'll put that right there. It adds a little clicks for people to click on if they want to read the entire article. Otherwise, it's just going to be placed um, on that on that home page and just for the first couple paragraphs. I also want to go ahead and increase the heading size of this of this header just to make it a little prettier to work with or people visually. And I would encourage you to make sure that your articles are visually attractive so that um, again people want to stay and they enjoy their reading experience. All right, I'm just going to play it safe here. And I'm going to hit Control A to select all, and that, that'll select the entire article. Control C to copy, and then I'm going to update this post because I did a little bit of work and I don't want to lose it. So just in case, every now and then this uh, is it's still computers and they can be a little funky. And actually, I did delete all my work, so I'm going to paste that in there and ask it to update it again. And hopefully it'll keep it for me this time. That looks better. But it lost the formatting, so let me go back in here and click my le left justify, update it, update that post. Now I can click the visit visit the site link here, but I'm going to go over here, click refresh, and hope that everything is as it should be. And it's still thinking, so okay. So it looks like it's got my image in there, but it doesn't have my more tag yet. So it looks like this is finished. So I'm going to click refresh. And okay, we're still missing the more tag. But I did show you how to use that more tag. We're going to go back in that blog, put my cursor here, insert a more tag, and update it, and it should be good to go. Okay. Um, that's uh, your managing your blog, working with your text. Thank you very much.